What's up, DMW gang? Today is the start of a new vlog. Um, just documenting days before my wellness retreat. Today is May 10th. So we have about four days into the wellness retreat. And if you know, then you know. Your girl is feeling nervous. I'm feeling excited, all the above. Um, if you're familiar with me from around the way, then you know I'm not new to putting on events or hosting in general or speaking publicly, but it's been a while. And so with the gap in public engagement, um, there comes jitters and nervousness about if people will show up, if it'll be a good turnout, if people will enjoy it, if people will do it again. And I really was getting in my head today. And then I decided, let me not focus on who may not show up and let me focus on who will show up for me. Just changing my mindset has allowed me to have like a grateful expectation. And so I am grateful that people are excited about the event. I'm grateful that people are willing to share space with me. I am grateful for the outpour of support from people sharing the flyer or saying that I wish I could make it or I wish you could do it here. I just decided to be grateful, to be alive, to to be able to do something that I'm passionate about and share space with a really good friend of mine and to share space with people that I love in general. So changing your mindset, changing my mindset is like a way that I constantly practice my own wellness. Like I put wellness into action by changing my train of thought when I'm thinking something negative. And that could be really hard sometimes, but I am actively working at it. So I was speaking to Danae today and I was telling her like how excited I am for this event. And I also shared with her some of the feelings that I was having. And she sent me a really great text that prompted me to do this. So um, she said, we, are manifesting a beautiful, intentional, and warm weekend and precious productive days leading towards it. And it was just like, that was the one thing that I needed to hear to just make me get out of my head completely. Like, I wholeheartedly believe that it's gonna be an amazing turnout, no matter if it's just me or her there. Like, I feel like whoever is there in that space during that moment will receive whatever they need. So. Um, getting that text from her just prompted me to do an activity um, via blog that I wanted to share with y'all. And I decided that I'm going to write out um, some of my event manifestations in my journal because y'all know how I get down. I love a good journal. I love a good head jam. Hope y'all know where that comes from. But anyway, um, this is one of my newer journals and this is the same journal that I wrote out the itinerary for the retreat in. And so I thought, let me come back to this same journal and pretty much write out my manifestations for what I would like to turn out to be. So that's what I'm gonna do.
Okay, so I did my little um, journal for the day, my journal entry for the day, and I would like to share some of the affirmations that I wrote out for the event. So the first one is, I am worthy inside and out. If you ain't know, this is worthy gang till I die, okay? So of course, I'll start with that one. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. I rise above my fears and insecurities. When I'm overwhelmed, I give myself permission to step away and breathe. I bring light to those around me. I'm aligned with my highest self. This turnout will be amazing and will open the door for more amazing opportunities. I can do hard things. I own my power to recognize the strength inside of me. My confidence grows each and every day. I am a magnet for success. I seek connection and not validation. I am always worthy and I validate myself. It is safe for me to be my authentic self. I am thankful for an abundant wellness retreat, one of many. I am so proud of you, Nadia, and I love you so much. And it's like, after reading these to myself, I just want to give myself a big hug. Like, I just don't feel anxious about it at the moment anymore. I don't feel stressed. I'm not worried about the turnout. I am so ready to celebrate one year of DM and wellness with you guys. And I cannot wait to see you there. Happy Thursday. Today is May the 12th and I'm cooking some breakfast, making an omelet, about to make some iced coffee. Cause this is what I do. Um, it took me like 20 something years to become a coffee girl and I believe that is evil. <laughs> it's truly evil. Um, I like to mix and match my creamers. So I do like a little bit of the cinnamon dose latte and a little bit of the white chocolate. Um, this also is not enough coffee, but it was all that I had left and the one that I had another but yes today because i am so pressed i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my um preparation for the event still the event is just two days away and because i have a busy next two weeks um i'm just gonna go ahead and do some things early so i'm gonna be prepping my art bag today um, for the craft portion of my event. Hopefully I don't struggle to get this off. Almost there. Um, and because I'm pressed, so pressed, I have already laid out what I'm going to wear for the event. So I'll be showing you guys that as well. There we go. I need a little bit more coffee. Stir it up, stir it, stir it, stir it up. And then, I don't know what it is about the ice, but like, you need the ice or else it just ain't hitting like it's supposed to. So, got my little ice tray, add in my ice blocks. Got my iced coffee, making my omelet. Um, we're gonna get into packing the bags a little bit later. I'm gonna get dressed because right now I look dry and crusty. But that's what we got going on today. We're two days away from the event. I'm super excited. I've had lots of people reach out to me and wish me good luck. I've had a couple people say that they were planning to surprise me, but they couldn't make it. And that just means so much to me. Like my cousin would drive all the way from Virginia to surprise me. Wow, like. I was shook, like, even though I'm not gonna get the surprise, 
I am so grateful that you even thought enough of me to want to surprise me. So, yes, I'm really excited. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys more. I think that I may add the event onto this blog. It depends on my space and if I actually get good footage. But, yeah, that's what we got going on today. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I can't wait to see you guys later. Here's the finished product of my omelet. I didn't have any breakfast potatoes, so I decided to have some fruit with it, um, which is fine too. But yeah, ready to conquer the day. Okay, because I'm so pressed, I have my outfit already picked out. I'm sticking to like a neutral theme. So I'm gonna do this brown shirt um, by All The Time Dance and these brown leggings that came from Tarjay. I just realized that I left some of the supplies in my car, so y'all won't see a whole packing video. But um, I'm going to be promoting this small businesses and black businesses on this channel a lot. But um, these are some reusable rumors bags that I'm going to pack my canvases in. Um, another pack of canvases, bigger ones. And some magazines and materials to cut, glue, and or color with um, for the craft portion of the retreat so yeah this is what we got going on and these are all the materials that i have in the house with me okay friends i am headed to party city to look into balloon decorations for the retreat oh maybe i'll do letters instead of balloons on the table. Oh, there's no D. Never mind. That won't work. But these are cute, though. One thing about planning an event, you always have to be prepared to go to multiple places. So, this is the first store that I went in that did not have all the letters. So, I had to go to another party city in Briar Creek. But nonetheless, I found all the letters I need D, M, and W. If you follow me on the gram, then you know I had a little workout midday that I decided to create some real content and let me tell you it was a really great workout but I was very sore happy Friday the 13th it's the day before my retreat. It is really dreary outside, but that is not a reflection of me at all because I am super excited and happy and I am about to pamper myself. Okay, so let me just tell you about this pedicure. It was everything. Since the girl was getting into all the crevices that she needed to, but that workout had me sore and when she lifted my leg, I wanted to scream. <laughs> Um, massaging is my favorite part, so yes, get into it, get the feet real good, and the legs. I'm a bougie girl, so of course I had to get gel polish. I wish I would have never started this trend for myself, but here we are. French Tips also has me in a chokehold, and so I've been getting the same design or style service for the last five appointments. <laughs> Nonetheless, they came out really good, and I was so happy. Okay, so I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. But yes, oil me up and down. We love to see it. Um, get into those feet because a hardworking girl deserves a hardworking pedicure. <laughs> hot stones, got to love them. I need the oil. I need the hot stones. I need it all. Happy retreat day to me and Mama Nature. We did it, Joe. We did it. Of course, I did not get a lot of footage, but I want to shout out all my friends for helping me set up in Charmont Studios for hosting us. It was a really beautiful time, and hopefully other people got background footage because I did not. When I tell you that yoga session was everything, that yoga session was everything. Here's a few other random clips from the event. Again, I... Scavenged what I could. This is cheers to the first DMO Wellness Retreat! Yay! Yay! Cheers!
what's up guys i'm coming to give a quick quick close out from today's wellness retreat i am so overwhelmed like i just feel immensely grateful and i don't know there's not enough words to express how happy i am like how full in my spirit i feel from doing this retreat it was an amazing experience um there were quite a few people that could not make it but i still felt the love all around me um i cannot wait to plan the next one i can't wait to have more in the future and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video